it's long been rumoured that Facebook has been planning to enter the cryptocurrency game. Back in May, Facebook registered a new business, Libra Networks in Switzerland, and they've just revealed their plans for their new cryptocurrency, Libra, which aims to bring crypto to the masses, allowing you to pseudonymously buy or cash out Libra coin. It'll even be built right into WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger. But is all as it seems? Is this really a selfless act to help decentralize currency and bring crypto to the masses? Or, or is this just part of our favorite lizard Zuck's plans to take over the world and install himself as supreme leader? Maltronics.com is where you can find the latest of hacker hardware, from Wi-Fi deauthors to Malduino keystroke injectors, Wi-Fi keyloggers, and USB protectors. It is run by myself, so do give it two minutes of your time. You're guaranteed to like our tech. Maltronics.com. Link is in the description. I reckon this is going to be a pretty controversial topic, so I'm going to look at both sides of the argument with a healthy amount of cynicism. So whilst Libra is Facebook-led, it isn't going to be wholly run by Facebook, as many might have you think. The newly minted Libra Association consists of 28 founding members, and they hope to increase this to 100 by the end of the year. Each member has a single vote in what happens to Libra. They'll meet every six months and decide on their plans. There's a lot of big companies which have joined this association, including Uber, PayPal, Spotify, eBay, Stripe, and, and so many more. Having so many companies join in provides a certain level of decentralization in that no individual or company has sole control over Libra. However, to crypto purists, I imagine this is little conciliation. When it comes to Bitcoin, for example, anyone can become a node in the network. Not possible with Libra. Another point of contention is whether Facebook is just going to use this as a goldmine for user data. According to them, no. Facebook is launching a subsidiary company called Calibra that will handle all of Facebook's crypto dealings and supposedly protect your privacy by keeping your Libra payments and Facebook data completely separate, so your real identity won't be tied to your publicly visible transactions. Whether that'll quell critics, I think not. To even create a Libra wallet, you'll need to provide government-issued ID. It claims that this is due to know your customer regulations, though with Facebook recently in hot water over deplatforming content creators for seemingly political reasons, I do think that this is something to be skeptical about. A world where Facebook or any congregation of companies has the ability to prevent you from using currency, from, from taking part in society, sounds pretty chilling. Currently, Facebook has announced the first wallet for Libra called Calibra. This wallet will be standalone, though you'll also be able to manage your Libras via Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. However, third-party wallets are on the table. As the Libra blockchain is open source, any developer can build apps for it using the brand new programming language, Move. More on that in the description. Libra is designed to be lightning fast. The network will be able to handle 1,000 transactions per second, which is light years better than Bitcoin's 7 transactions per second. Something that really limits Bitcoin's use cases and relegates it to more of a digital gold rather than an everyday currency. Currently, Libra isn't set to be decentralized, with only each of the founding members controlling a node in the network. Each of those members pledging $10 million for the privilege, mind you. Facebook says it's designed it this way with a small number of nodes to help keep it fast. Adding more nodes, they say, just slows things down. Though this keeps it from being truly decentralized, something that a hell of a lot of people are going to be really very disappointed about. Additionally, transactions aren't entirely free. There's a small fraction of a cent fee for each transaction that's meant to cover the cost of processing the transfer of funds. So that would be electricity, servers, etc. And this also will discourage denial of service attacks on the Libra network. Next, certain subreddits are up in arms over the fact that this new cryptocurrency is going to be backed up by, you guessed it, fiat currency. Fiat currency, if you're, if you're not familiar, is essentially anything that we consider normal currency. So dollars, pounds, euros, etc. Essentially any currency that isn't backed up by a physical commodity. The idea is that Libra's value is tied to a reserve of currency holdings. So every time you cash in a dollar, that dollar goes into the reserve and the equivalent value of Libra is created and handed over to you. Though if you withdraw some Libra, you'll get your fiat and the Libra you traded in is destroyed. 
This helps ensure that LibraCoin is backed up by traditional cash, one to one. Another benefit of this is that the value of Libra won't change all that much since it's tied to various supposedly stable currencies. This makes it what's commonly known as a stable coin, though, though again, a lot of crypto purists aren't too happy about this. The whole point of crypto was to get us away from traditional currencies, not make us increasingly dependent on them. But I digress. This whole Libra coin, which some have started calling Facecoin, whether you're for it or against it, Libra could actually be the best thing to happen to crypto in a long, long time. By normalizing the use of crypto, this could help ordinary folk become a whole lot more comfortable with the idea of cryptocurrencies. If Libra takes off, and there's a good chance it will, given Facebook's crazy large install base, not to mention the enormous number of large companies supporting Libra, just imagine the number of people who will become educated on crypto and to whom cryptocurrency will form a natural extension of their lexicon. So why is Facebook creating a coin, given they're practically given control of the whole thing away and really don't have anything to gain from it directly? Well, well, apart from the interest on that currency reserve, of course. So what is the master plan here? Well, they do indeed have a lot to gain vicariously. Firstly, it'll encourage people to spend way more time within Facebook's ecosystem. More time spent on Facebook means more ads shown and more money made. Not only this, but imagine being able to buy products through Facebook with super low transaction fees. This would be a big boost to their advertising proposition, enabling them to charge more from advertisers. Creating a coin also helps cement their brand in emerging markets. If you're a pauper living in Africa, for example, and your choices of money are either physical cash or LibraCoin, LibraCoin may be a much more attractive proposition, given it'll be easy to transfer money across borders and between people. And if you're using Libra to do this, then why not use Facebook Messenger as well, since they work together? And lastly, crypto is going to happen for the masses at some point. It's just a matter of time, really. From Facebook's perspective, why would you wait for someone else to create the crypto standard and be on the back foot? Rather, get in there quick and make sure it happens on your terms. PCBWay is my first choice for PCB fabrication. They even do assembly, for which they're currently offering up to 20 pieces for just $30. Not only that, they're celebrating their fifth anniversary right now, which means tons of exclusive offers and prizes. They really help support the channel, so do check them out in the description. PCBWay. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you came out of this video a little more clued in to what Libra means for the, all of us. Though there's a lot I couldn't get to, so I'll leave a link to Libra's white paper in the description if you're interested to learn more. Thanks for watching, remember to hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, spam that notification bell, and as always, stay tuned for more hacking videos. Have a good one.